Brandy. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Development Palettes. I am Aaron Loomis. With me today is June Lou, Seth Geis, and John McTavish. How are you guys doing today? Just tell them how it is about this, man. Listen, listen man, Breaking I just want to tell down. our audience, you better settle in because you're in for a dogfight on this one. So just like uh, where we are geographically, we are the same in this review. So uh, all over the place. Uh, we're talking about the Illusion at ECCJ 25th. Uh, cigars are Robusto Extra 5.5 by 50. Uh, comes out of the Tabsa factory in Nicaragua. It is uh, Nicaraguan Puro. Little by Dion Giolito. Price point is $11.80, and the cigar was released in May of 2019. Uh, so with all of that out of the way, uh, June, how about you take us through your experience with this cigar? Um, I, I had a good experience. I mean, we we just finished talking about uh, Dion's uh 10th anniversary Epernay. so this is yet another a uh, special edition anniversary kind of a um cigar that he came out with um and you know does it live up to that special naming convention um no but is it a good cigar yeah i mean it's i i feel like you know it's very like classic um agonor dion style of uh, blending uh you get a, you get a really good mix of like spice earth sweetness uh, a lot of good creaminess like biscuity flavors um but there's also a inherent sharpness uh that's embedded within the entire smoking experience that you know with time it will even out and it'll you know and and, and i know that because i smoked you know uh aged eccjs before and they are really, really good after a few years. So, and it just becomes a lot smoother and silkier um, and the flavors meld better together. So, you know, if you, the way I think about the cigar now, um, it's good, but, you know, just kind of like, uh, almost like if you buy Bordeaux or like if you're a big cab fan, uh, you will never drink them when you first get them. You might have one out of a case just to see where it's at now, right? to see kind of like what it may be when it ages down the road and when it smooths out. Uh, That's kind of how I feel about this cigar, right? Like I would still buy a box of this, but I'm in no hurry to smoke any soon. But I do think it's going to stand out to be something that's a lot better down the road. So you kind of do it for that purposes. So it's right. like a case of Milwaukee beast, right? You got <laughs> to age, age those babies. All right, Seth, <laughs> what was your experience like? I thought it was simply phenomenal cigar. I think it, captured everything that Illusione stands for. I think it captured everything that ECCJ stands for. Um, it was just beautiful, com complex, depth, transitioning, start to finish, fantastic cigar. All right, John, go for it. I don't even know where to start, man. Like, I was just so disappointed. The, the, uh, the, the description that June gave of the first third was spot on, like biscuity, graham cracker, bready, and I'm like, oh, yeah, man. Woo! Smoking, reviewing some good cigars. This is great. And then I hit the middle third, and it was just like everything that was good about the cigar just evaporated like my happiness. And then by the last third, it got bitter and harsh, just like my soul is this year for reviewing cigars. And I was like, I was like, man, this is not the Illusione that I that I love in my heart, in my mind, in my soul. I was sad. I, you know, I was crying some tears. I was like, <laughs> I, I got to write some, some, some not so good things about the last 30 here and I feel bad, but um, construction was excellent. The construction was, was really, really good. Unfortunately, I can't smoke construction. And uh, as a result, I was very disappointed. Aaron, what was your overall experience like? Yeah, for me, the cigar started pretty average. Um, and then uh, by the second third, the profile kind of took a step down as the you know, wood became charred and a burning paper note joined in um, and never really recovered after that, um, even with that burning paper leaving kind of the second half of the final third. Um, yeah, I spoke the original 15th anniversary for the CCJ. Um, this does, didn't live up to that uh, for me. Um, and I think, and this is definitely my least favorite Illusione release for the year. Um, Probably not something I'm looking to return to, but you know, based on the range of scores here, um, I'm wondering if that might be a consistency issue between the cigars because um, you know what Seth and June described is not the cigar I smoked. Um, I don't think it was what John smoked. So um, maybe revisit it, see what it's like. But uh, like June said, maybe uh, after he buys a box, I'll uh, take a couple off his hands in about three years and, and see how they are. But uh, 
Yeah, man, I don't I, I don't know what happened uh, with this with this cigar, but uh, I'm a big fan of the brand, but this just didn't didn't do it for me. Uh, so we'll get into the scores, and you can uh, take get a chuckle out of the the range here. Uh, Seth, you're at the top at 8.08. Uh, Junior next at 6.92. Uh, John was next at 5.60. And then I was at the bottom at 4.43. So uh, Seth, 8.08. Yeah, it's fantastic cigar. It's phenomenal. Loved it. <laughs> All right, June, 6.92. Phenomenal. I want Cancel. My best friend is... Oh, never mind. Okay. Uh, it's, uh, it's good. It It can be and it will be better down the road. Uh, and I will, I actually say that quite often with new releases of Illusioni, I feel like, um, Cause they age cause it the is. rest of them down. Yeah. And, and they, they do from like Eperday to some of their darker stuff, they all age really well. Um, so, you know, for most of you guys that are especially Cuban cigar guys that don't understand that non-Cubans age well, while Agonor's the tobacco and especially the Dion pumps out what there's a perfect example that it does. So um, I want to smoke this uh, with some time uh, down the road and um, just to kind of prove that I'm not just full of shit. <laughs> All right, John, 5.60. Yeah, I'm going to smoke another one of these uh, maybe this weekend as I watch some playoff football. But, um, yeah, I was, I was disappointed. Um, this is not the illusion eh, that, I, that I love in my heart. You're watching playoff football. Are the Jets playing? <laughs> no, no, man. Like, like, like you the said Jets. Ball. They can't be playing. He's watching. Like, like the Jets. The performance of the cigar was very disappointing and uneven. Well, at least they get to smoke it while golfing with my Cleveland Browns. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, yeah. My four point four three matches up with my experience. Unfortunately, um, it was like, you know, John said it hurt his hurt. I mean, I can't. I couldn't say that you know, even more so with my experience with it. I wanted to, I wanted to love this cigar and it just did not, did not perform that way for me. So hope I got the, the bad one out of, you know, out of the box or whatever, but uh, I'm looking forward to uh, maybe trying it again and see if I can have a different experience. I'm making uh, any, a prediction. Yes. Uh, what's that? All right. I have an, I have such an advanced palate that even <laughs> this goes back to my Atelier lat 52. I predicted that these were going to be great before they were. Come back in 18 months. Do we have any more? No. You're going to have a score between 6.4 and 6.7. All right. 18 months. John, you're going to be at 7 to 7.2. I'll be at where you're at. June, you're going to be at where I'm at. I'll be dead probably. But <laughs> it's, it'll be so amazing. I just die. But it's yeah. going to be. That's. I'm telling you, 18 months, this thing's going to turn around. All right. Sounds good. Any other final thoughts? All right. If you just catch this video on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to us. We'll also check out the full written review on the website, developmentpalace.com. Follow us on all the social media channels, and you can catch all of our review recaps on podcasts. So iTunes, Google Play, and Podbean. Thank you for tuning in. We'll catch you on the next one.